Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect, where knowledge is power and transformation happens. Yes, thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table today, December 8th, 2019, Sunday, December 8th, 2019, and we are here for a daily oracle energy message yes a twin flame daily oracle energy message and we are using the goddess guidance oracle deck by doreen virtue for this message to come through and we will do an energy check with the energy deck and Follow it up with a close it with a romance check in for Sunday, December 8th, 2019. The beginning of a new week. The countdown to Christmas is happening, right? It's not far away, and the new year is just around the corner 2020. Yes, indeed. I think we're all a little nervous about that, aren't we? Yeah, just a little, right? So today we invite you to join my Divine Spirit and I and the Goddess Guidance Oracles here at the table and offer up a Oracle Energy message for Sunday... The beginning of the week ahead, the second week of December, officially, second full week. And uh, give us some, us twin flamers, some guidance for the new week, the beginning of the new week, the Sunday fun day. Let us know what the, what the heck we have to look forward to. Give us something, tell me something good, dear, dear. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me that you like me, yeah. All right, enough of that, right? A few more shuffles and we will get to the message. For December 8th, 2019, Sunday Monday. What is it, Goddess Guidance, Oracle, Divine Spirit, that we have to look forward to for Sunday, December 8th, 2019, for us Twin Flamers. Us on the Twin Flame journey. All right, I think we're good. We're going to toss them like this for a minute to see what comes through. I got one. Two. <clears throat> one more, please. That would be great. Tell us what we need to know so we can avoid some mistakes. <laughs> yes, I'm a poet, and I know it. So, what is it that we need to know? What is it that uh, we should focus on or look forward to for the week ahead, starting with tomorrow, or today, Sunday, December 8th, 2019. One more card, Spirit. One more card, please. There we go. Well, that one wanted to come out. All right, we got it. Thank you, Spirit. So...
Be strong, receptivity, and inner goddess. My goodness. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Hmm? Our past, our current circumstances, and our possibility. Yes. Pretty good spread there. We got Sekhmet, Hathar, and Aphrodite. Hmm. Well, this is be strong, right? Lighting's not very good, but bear with me. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Look at that confidence. Yep. All that confidence. Beautiful. Love that dark hair. Lots of violet around her crown chakra opening up, surrounded by a golden aura with a violet inner lining. Beautiful. Book ended by two lions. Strength. Representing strength, double strength. The eye of Os Osiris, right there. The all knowing eye. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. <clears throat> See yourself as strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone or any condition. You're the embodiment of strength, not victimhood. As you rise above the old tendencies and see yourself in the new light of beautiful feminine strength, your life will automatically shift in miraculous ways. You'll attract new opportunities, forms of abundance, and relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. Being strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light you can imagine. Be real. Allow yourself to feel genuine emotions. But most of all, be strong. Sometimes that's all you have left to do. And that'll get you through. Right? Don't underestimate yourself. Don't yield to pressure or any temptation. Avoid complaining or indulging in stinking thinking. You know, get out and train, exercise, go outside with nature and hike the mountains to make you even stronger and more grounded with Mother Earth. Ready yourself, right? Something's coming. You're going to need this strength, <laughs> right? You're going to need the strength. Yes, but that's okay. Hathor, hmm, and what is that for? So, in the current past, you have come to this point where you are strong. You're moving forward. You're highly protected, totally connected with spirit, with your third eye and your chakra, uh, your crown chakra. Through your third eye and your crown chakra. What needs to take place or what's coming? What's right now? The current circumstances? Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others.
Yeah. That's Ra, the sun god, right there. Okay, God, the creator, universe, spirit, basically. Hmm. Passion, flowing, emotions. Right? Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Hmm. You have a material side to you that naturally cares for those in need. Yet this must be balanced with receptivity or the flow is blocked. Receiving is the essence of feminine energy and it means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude. If you feel guilty when asking others for help or if you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is just as natural as your nurturing, giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day. Whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved, by a loved one. Simply say thank you for each gift and know that they're filling up your storehouse, keeping the divine flow going strong. One of my sisters calls that the love bank. You know, keep your love bank full so that you can, you know, take out withdrawals and share that often. And you need to make deposits in your love bank too. To keep it full for those moments when you need it and when others need it. <clears throat> Be still and listen. Release any guilt about receiving because it's okay to receive. You don't have to just go through life giving. You need to receive because that's part of your abundance and your reward. Ask for help. Increase psychic awareness. Okay, when you ask for help, that's going to increase your psychic awareness because you're going to be able to spend more time on that. Know that you're in a learning cycle. Healing is occurring. Be more in your feminine energy. Whether you're male or female, you have it in you. We have it in us. Each and every one of us have masculine and feminine in us, energy. And when we can balance that out, boy, life is good. Right? Child conception, pregnancy or birth, including adoption or favorable custody arrangements could be at hand here. Whether you have children or your significant other has children or the two of you end up adopting children or there's going to be children in your life. There always has been children in your life and there always will be children in your life. And you need to be open to receive that if you think that you were never going to have children in your life. Anything's possible, right? Mm -hmm. Aphrodite. Is our last card, our potential possibilities, our up and coming events. Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self care, and appreciating your divinity. That hair flowing, spirit around her, right next to her. Her guide, div divine guides and ascended masters and angels are near her. Look at you. All fine. And beautiful or handsome, depending on 
gender, right? All that green, which is your heart chakra opening up. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. This is the next step. You know? Without a doubt. Allow your inner feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to the surface. Cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner feminine that nurtures you and guides you with its intuitive principles. Now is the time to become aware of, take excellent care of, and celebrate your magnificence. Hmm. Balance your male and female energy. It's important. Okay? Be in harmony with yourself. And that will attract harmonious abundance. Right? Take, take steps to heal your sexuality. Enjoy being feminine. And enjoy being the masculine. Dance more often. Be receptive in relationships. Allow your softer side to come out. Don't hide your feminine femininity or your masculinity. Dress in a more feminine way, for example, if you haven't, and vice versa. Embrace yourself. All parts of yourself. And indeed, your counterpart will. Because those of us in this twin flame journey, we mirror each other, right? So if you want to move, keep moving forward and reach your ultimate goal, which is the bonus of Twin Flame Union, you need to embrace your inner goddess. The feminine in you. Let it flow. Look at that hair just flowing, right? So, let's see if we can't boil this down here. Be strong because you're about to receive something big. You need to prepare yourself and be prepared. Be strong. Be connected to spirit. Have all the tools you need sitting on your throne in your authentic self, living your authentic self. Right? Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And in return, when you embrace your inner goddess, all things are possible. Truly. You will attract it. It'll want you. You'll have to be, you know, making the choices. And you'll be led. You're being led by spirit. So you'll know what and who to choose. Right? Well. Let's see. <clears throat> Where the energy lays, right? So the overall energy for this twin flame connection for Sunday, December sixth, December eighth, twenty nineteen. 
I'd say it's pretty good. What do you think? We got a card. Hmm. Walking away. 29. You know, I'd say you're being strong and you're ready to receive. You embrace your inner goddess. So you are walking away from this old life. You're saying goodbye to it and you're walking through that gate, through the door. You're moving forward, not just walking away. And 27, that's 9. That's pretty much close to completion, right? Any other card, Spirit? For the energy? <clears throat> what are you heading towards? A caring connection. Yep. Caring connection is what you're walking towards when you walk through that gate. You know, number five is about movement. Okay, adventure. Caring connection. They look like they're in love to me. Hmm? She's like, oh my goodness. And he's like, finally. Right? Lastly, let's get... Uh, let's get a romance check-in on this for our <clears throat> daily... Twin Flame Oracle Energy message for Sunday, December 8th, 2019. Yep. Uh, for those of us on this Twin Flame journey, it's important to, you know, stay focused and remain hopeful and remain patient and trust in the plan because divine is at work. No doubt about it. It's in the cards, okay? Right? <clears throat> the story is in the cards. So, give us a little juicy tidbit, a little romantic hope for this twin flame connection and see what's about to happen. Happen. It's happening. All right, here we go. What is it, spirit, that we need to see and think about on a romantic level for this twin flame connection for Sunday? Cards. Just one card, Spirit. Okay, thank you. That's it. Alright, that's it. Hmm. Yes, indeed. This is all worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And it's worth waiting for. It's going to happen very soon. 
very soon. The wait is almost up. They're bundled up. That means winter time. Hmm? Could very well be for some of you. If this is resonating with you. The divine is hard at work to make this happen. So do your work. And it will, right? Yes, it will. So, on that note, looks pretty good, people. You know? Stay strong. Be open to receiving for what's to come. And when you embrace, <clears throat> when you be strong and be receptive to what's coming, be receptive to being your authentic goddess self, embracing the real true you, the real slim shady, you will walk away from that which does not serve you anymore and you will walk right into a caring connection. Yep. And all of that will be worth waiting for. The reward for all of this, excuse me, will be worth waiting for. Very soon. The wait is almost up. Absolutely. I would not doubt it. Doubt it will delay it. You don't delay divine. It's really everything is in divine time. So why bother, right? Just go with the flow. Let it flow. Let it go so it can flow. Right? The A's have it. You want it? Allow it. Accept it. Align with it. Attract it. And the abundance will flow. Alright, that wraps up our daily oracle energy message for Twin Flame Journey. This Twin Flame connection is hot and in hot pursuit. So look out. Hot pursuit. <laughs> More like... <laughs> Get ready. No matter how, what, where, when, it's coming. So... Be ready. Thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table for today's daily Twin Flame Oracle energy message. We appreciate you. If you like what you see in here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you'll be notified the next time we upload a post that Divine has given us, so divinely given us. In the meantime, take good care of you, and we'll see you soon. Yep, the big reveal is going to be coming. Don't forget, on our official store launch, we will be having a big reveal of yours truly. Yep, and all the cool products that we will be offering on our website, chakra bracelet, and the Twin Flame Diffusing Blade Bracelet, all essential oil bracelets, our Zodiac Runes, and much, much more. So stay tuned for all of that. In the meantime, stay sweet. Bye-bye.